This video covers two batches of testing. We have some salmon fillets and some salmon burgers. This is actually the second batch. A single salmon fillet from Costco and a couple of salmon burger patties from Costco. Put them on the grill and cooked them and then finished them in these pans. We pre-froze them and then we're going to do the freeze drying test. The first test batch was with raw salmon. That's why we're only doing one salmon filet on this one, because the raw one was a disaster and it wasn't going to waste more salmon filets if it wasn't going to work out. The freeze dryer is pre-cooled and these test pieces are going into the freeze dryer. These are the salmon filets that we used. We got them at Costco and the salmon burger patties that we got also at Costco. These things are really good. This was the first batch we did with the salmon, and these are all raw in this batch. We don't like to mix the raw meats and cooked meats in the same batch. I don't know if it'd be a problem, but we just don't do it. Okay, that's it. Should I try freeze drying them all? Next, I loaded the frozen meat into the pre-cooled freeze dryer. And we did just two of the salmon fillets. And I'm glad we only did two because it didn't work out well. While we're waiting for this to freeze dry, I'd invite you to go over to Catwood Cooking's channel. They have been making some nice freeze drying videos. They try to put their videos out on Fridays. If you like what you see, give them a thumbs up and subscribe to their channel. And then come back here and see the rest of this one. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm leaving the freeze dryer running just in case everything's not completely dry. Raw meat and gloves. I'm checking the temperature of the salmon fillets. They still felt a bit heavy, so I was pretty sure they weren't dry yet and had some ice or water inside. I'm using a food thermometer to check the inside temperature. If I have the tray temperature set to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, then the temperature inside the food should also be about 115 degrees when it's dry. It's still cold inside, that means it's not finished. There's still ice or water inside, otherwise it would be warm. So that's not ready yet. These felt warm, and when I checked them with the thermometer, they were warm all the way to the middle. You can see the temperature rising. I checked a few of the thin items, and they were all warm inside. The salmon fillets were the only things that were not dry, but I put everything back in the freeze dryer for a few more hours. The fillets were quite thick. Maybe it would have worked if I had cut them down thinner, but this is the way they came. I bagged these in the Mylar bags with just two in a bag. I added the oxygen absorber and then heat sealed the bags. I'm going to save these for a rehydration test. A little salmon pieces. Good. We actually did this raw salmon patty and filet a few days before the cooked one. The patties came out well, but the filet was terrible. 
And that's why we did the cooked one. And that's why we kept the cook sample small, in case it failed too. Yeah, it tastes like this salmon patty? It worked fine. It does. I would, I would, should try, uh, especially the salmon fillet. I need to try thawing it, slicing it thinner, mm. cooking it, and then freeze drying it. it. It doesn't seem to be rehydrating real well yet. Mm. It's in the refrigerator bag. That's fine. This did fine. I used cold water for rehydrating the salmon fillets. I put them in the refrigerator overnight. I figured that would be plenty of time to get them well rehydrated and ready to cook. So the salmon fillets have been in water in the refrigerator overnight. They still feel ridiculously firm. I don't think this is going to work out well. But I'll try cooking them, see what they are. I cooked them in a bit of olive oil and sprinkled them with a little bit of Johnny's garlic seasoning. They looked and smelled great. However, the insides did not rehydrate properly. It was like a piece of plastic inside. It's the biggest failure I've had in freeze drying and ended up throwing it away. I'm glad I only did a few pieces. Here's the cooked salmon filet. I pour a little bit of boiling water on it. And put the salmon burger patty on also. Okay, and the salmon burger patty and the salmon filet. Okay, so these were the pre-cooked ones. I can tell that the, the patty broke apart quite a bit, which is not necessarily a problem. And the filet is coming apart, which actually is a good sign. Rufflated terrible. Okay, so. Oh, that's just perfection. Wow. I was not thinking this was going to work because the raw was so horrible. It was. Wow. Tastes good. Tastes like salmon. Ah, that's good. The patty, that'll be more interesting because I didn't have it in the. Yeah, liquid that very wood. Do as well. It doesn't feel like it's. Well, it might take a little longer. Well, I don't know. It looks yeah. good. It does. Oh, actually, it tastes perfect. Feels perfect mm. to my teeth. <laughs> mm. It just doesn't flake apart like a salmon fillet. Which is good because you want it to. Right, have, have some chew to it. Yeah. Have it. I got salmon. a little dry salmon. spot. Mm. Yours must have been at the top then, because yeah. I had it. It was sitting on top of this, okay, yeah. the edge of this mushroom. Yeah. Russ and Nelly would be happy yeah. with this. Mm -hmm.